going on Facebook and what is going on YouTube. We are now live on both platforms. Uh, currently, I'm sitting back in front of the 40 gallon that we were escaping last night, or rearranging, I should say, and cleaning out some plants. Uh, we're back in front of it today again. I still have that big open space there. I need to place a bunch of plants, and I still have several plants I need to unbox and get in here as well, and in the other tank, um, <clears throat> in addition to this tank. So what I'm going to do is I got to actually go over there, grab the other plants, or the plants that I ripped out of here, and start placing them around the tank as well. Um, and really uh, get this tank fully planted again because uh, the plants can't really stay out that long, unfortunately. Uh, what's up, College Beta? What's up, Nathan? I'm just going to try and adjust. <laughs> Margaret's on the Facebook live stream. Yes, Margaret, again, because I have too much to do and I don't feel like recording it. I'd rather just live stream it. It's a bit easier. Uh, what's going on, uh, OG's Fish Room? going on uh, AK they're on a like for everyone thank you I appreciate it. it looks great so far yeah so things are starting to look very nice here I pumped up the co2 I got that working um, so now uh, my next step is just to fill in that back portion there get a bunch of the moss ledges going unfortunately I did try to remove a lot of this algae that's on this moss uh, on these moss ledges, but uh, there's still a ton more here. Uh, after it, after it kind of uh, settles in, the moss, uh, the uh, algae starts to perk up, and you can actually see it a bit more. So, I did see an Amano looking like he was uh, eating eating some of uh, some of it off one of the other pieces of moss. I don't know though for sure. So, I'm just hoping that these uh, these algae eaters will take care of this because this is a big problem for me so what's up Diane what's up Floyd thanks for everybody joining do you go off the BPS or the co2 indicator so I actually don't have a co2 indicator in here probably should I probably should have a co2 indicator in every tank here but I don't I kind of just judge it based off the bubbles per second and then I also look at the um, if I see a lot of micro bubbles and I see the fish gasping I know there's probably a bit too much in there and um, so I'm still adjusting the CO2 as we speak. There's still, uh, I still have to make some some tweaks here because um, I'm having some issues with the CO2 and because it's like going up and over, I think I might just buy a second CO2 system for one side of the room and keep this one for this side of the room. So, uh, let's see. My five pound CO2 tank emptied within two, like two months. I can't tell if it was super slow leak or if there was uh, something else up with my CO2. Um, well, I had a, I think a 10 pound last me, uh, almost a year on like two tanks. So I don't know. That kind of seems like, uh, something's up with it. You might want to check and make sure you have, uh, have everything sealed properly. This little guy's going in there. He's eating some stuff, but I don't know if it's algae. Kind of looks like it, maybe. Eat that stuff, buddy. Eat that stuff. Yeah, you go there. All right, let me get the rest of these plants because I got to get them in here and get this done. So I got a bunch of stem plants that came in this originally. Fortunately, I still have to go through them one by one here and pick out anything that I don't want in the tank. What's the best moss to grow on wood or slate tank already up and running with cichlids? Uh, if you put a moss in with cichlids, you may have some issues. Um, just giving you a fair warning. Uh, if you want a moss, though, that can hold up to that kind of abuse, probably Java moss. It's going to be low-tech, easy to grow. And uh, literally, even if it gets ripped to shreds, it'll still grow. It'll just become very spread out. So... 
That's probably what I would go with if I was uh, doing cichlids. I wouldn't buy anything fancy because uh, if they rip it to shreds, you're out all that money. What's up, Brian? How's it going? Welcome to a, another late night stream here. I actually almost just did this on Instagram, but I decided, you know what? Let me do Facebook and YouTube. So like last night, I'm pretty much just going there and pulling off any little follicles of this algae that I can see, or the best I can, I guess, because, um, you know, all it needs is, is one little strand and it can grow a whole big thing out of it, so. Got like a weird smell over here. Here comes Margaret. Baby? Baby? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm looking at the floor that you made a mess on. I made a floor in the mess? Mm -hmm. Or a mess on the floor? Yes, ma'am. So, I'm go I turned up the CO2 on this tank, so it's very heavily CO2'd, or at least a decent amount. What I'm going to try and do is hopefully the CO2 will uh, make these plants outcompete all the uh, algae, and uh, the algae will be left behind once everything is set up here. I'm also going to leave both lights on. Originally, I turned them off, and that's when I started to see a decline in the algae, but um, it's still growing, so I don't think turning it off is going to completely eliminate it. And because now I'm going to heavily plant this, where like every square inch is going to be plants, um, I think that cranking up everything um, and allowing the plants to just really out try and out compete everything else will uh, will work best What's up, Matt? How's it going? What is it like to make a floor on the mess? <laughs> that interaction reminds me of the beginning of a porn I watched once. <laughs> Let's see. But we don't know. Uh, she has everything set up properly, but we don't know if it's because her regulator said not for aquarium use. Um, 
if you can't regulate the PSI coming out of the regulator to a low enough setting, uh, that could be the only thing that I could see it happening. Most diffusers operate at 30 bubbles, or 30 PSI. So um, that could be the only thing. You could also have a leak. Uh, best way to do it is if you take a uh, spray bottle, fill it up with um, a soapy mixture, just regular like dish soap, and a little bit of water, and spray each of the con uh, connecting points of the CO2 system, and um, it it'll bubble. It'll actually shoot up bubbles uh, if there is a leak. Same way like you would try and find a leak on a on a uh, tire. Same concept, kind of works. She spray tested it like five times. Oh, did you? Couldn't find any leaks. What up, D Bachelor? That's strange, Nicole. If you if you leak tested, didn't see anything. And you went through it in that's that that small amount of time. That's very very strange. Um. At one bubble per second. Did you check the regulator though? Did you check to see if the regulator itself was leaking from any of its uh, crevices? This right here is some rare bacopa. It's not a Monterey or Carolina. It's a, uh, it gets pink tips, actually. Is that Erio on the right side of the tank? Uh, the Erio is right in here. Actually, I may have to move it because the Blix is kind of right on top of it a little bit there. But they're right there, and then there's other Erio right behind there, but I forget the name of that. I have to look them up. I have, I have the full list of all the names of everything that came in, um, or that I had previously on a list. I just have to go back through and look them up and then look at pictures online, and I should be able to identify them correctly. It's all about the research. So this is like covered in the algae, so I'm just gonna try and be very careful that I don't break any pieces off into the water here. I remember yesterday, that's right, I was using this as a sponge, uh, the algae itself, to collect the rest of it. It like, cause it, I guess it tangles, the uh, follicles will tangle each other and um, easier to pull it off using some of it. So, but that stem is garbage, right? right. I don't know what that is, but that piece is garbage. Wait a minute, Jake, what are you doing exactly? Because Jake's on the live stream. Jake, if you're not, like, hanging out with the chickie, uh, you should come and uh, help me out with these tanks. I don't care how late it is. <laughs> because uh, the other tank is needs to be done. It's 10.52 and tomorrow's Father's Day. So what? Exactly, tomorrow's Father's Day. I'm going to freaking be up all night the same way I was last night. I was up to 3 a.m. I woke up at, what, what time did I wake up? Like 8.45 because the children don't let you sleep past, uh, usually they don't let us sleep past 9, but they actually, I don't know, I guess I got lucky and got to sleep an extra half hour or, uh, 45 minutes, whatever it is, and um, then I went about my day, so I don't want to hear nothing that it's 
Father's Day tomorrow and that you got got to wake up. I'm going to be here until probably 3 a.m. again doing this. Got to get that moolah, man. Get that moolah. Let's see. Uh, nothing to ask. My tanks are looking great tonight and yours are too. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. Can you talk about CO2 quick? I am doing a DIY system, 40 gallon. So Johnny, oh, and Johnny, I saw your message. Um, I just didn't get a chance to respond to you yet. Uh, if you want to meet up um, tomorrow at the post office or, and or after I get off work, I'll be in, or not tomorrow, it's, uh, Monday, uh, because I'm now in New Jersey, so I don't know where exactly you are, but um, I know that you, I, I saw that you had said Staten Island. And I'm only in Staten Island when I'm working uh, for my job, so. Um, you can like meet me Monday afternoon if you want um, and pick it up just let me know and I will get you um, a picture of the Anubis and let you let you see what, what size it is and how much it's gonna be um, but uh, as far as DIY CO2 um, I don't like it on anything bigger than like a 10 gallon tank um, you're just gonna burn through it really quickly but if it's your first time doing it, then like I can get it. You want to test it out? That's completely fine. Uh, I will tell you, I I I I don't think anybody's ever tried DIY CO two, and not had results and been like, you know what? I don't need CO two, and they just stop, uh, unless it's like a money type thing or something. It's just it, you'll see a significant improvement in plants uh, with CO two. But you don't, you know. With that said, you don't need CO two. You know, unless you're trying to grow really rare stuff like I have here. Like, this tank definitely does need CO2. I actually thought I broke my CO2 tank before because I was messing around with it and it wasn't turning, but turns out I already opened it all the way and didn't realize it, so. Shame on me. Okay. Let's see. Jake is a daddy's boy, though. He has to make his father steak in bed. Yeah, right? What's up, Catherine? Twice today, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so I wanted to... I ended the previous live stream um, because, one, I wanted to eat dinner. I didn't eat anything, so I took that break to eat. And, um, two, I wanted that to be its own separate live stream, so, like, if somebody's looking at of how you would plant a goldfish tank, they could easily search that, and then it not also be, you know, four hours long in the process. Um, so, but I did say that there would be a second live stream. I just, I, I almost, uh, went on Instagram instead of coming on YouTube and Facebook. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, anybody out there, you should probably do that because streaming on Instagram is so much easier, um, in the sense of I don't have to worry about if I say something, uh, inappropriate or... Something that like is like, oh, it's gonna be recorded and uploaded, and you know, I don't want to ruin the video because I said something, um, you know, whatever. So, um, so sometimes when I'm not feeling like being on the record, sort of speak, I, I stream on Instagram. I would be streaming on all three of them, but like I said in yesterday's live stream, bringing the camera all the way over here is not a possibility, and I'd rather stream on uh, Facebook and YouTube because it's better, better for views. Instagram doesn't do too well, usually. Thanks for the info. I will message you to arrange a meeting. Have a great night. You're welcome, Johnny. The only way to, like, really clean these plants, too, like, you have to actually put it in the water to see the filaments. When you see the filaments, you just like pull them off, and that pretty much cleans it. But I pulled off so much algae, and I, I still see little bits and pieces on the substrate that I'm hoping um, may get suffocated by the plants outgrowing. I'm like, here's a little bit right here, boom. But yet, three strands just broke off there. I'm not gonna be able to get them. They're they're floating around in the water, so. Now those three strands are gonna land somewhere, and if they don't get outcompeted by plants for light, um, they will grow. And here's another blotch right here, boom. 
This is why I hate this freaking LG. This LG is like... Blackbeard LG, I'd much rather, I'd much rather have Blackbeard LG than this LG, honestly. Unless, unless these guys really do eat this stuff, and then in that case, screw Blackbeard LG. <laughs> Um, I have the one stem there. Let's see what else we got in here. It's a broken stem. Got this big blob of this stuff. These, the new plants, no, these were the existing plants that I'm putting back in there. Uh, what up, Dion? How's it going? Oh, a bunch of people talking. I want to make sure I answer you guys here. I'm addicted to injecting CO2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where can I get a CO2 setup for the lowest cost, and how can you prevent CO2 poisoning during the night? So, Austin, uh, one, you want a timer, um, and you want a regulator that has an electric solenoid that can be shut off with the timer. Uh, two, if you're really afraid of it, you can run an air pump at night with the air stone. Um, if you get a either, uh, what I have is a um, reptile two-in-one timer it has a day and a night cycle and then just four regular outlets and that allows me to set things to go on at night and things to go on at day or during the day when whenever the other side is off so it works great for that um, so I do recommend those the link is actually in the description of the YouTube video if you want to check it out on Amazon and um, yeah so uh, that's what I would do to avoid it but also just you know uh, keep it low and work your way up you don't need to Blast it straight out the way. Um, Austin, you need a solenoid? Oh, yeah, you guys are answering. I love when you guys answer the questions for me. It's great. Like, I'm not saying that sarcastically in case you think I am. Like, it's great that you guys are helping each other and you know enough. Like, you're giving the proper information. So, it's great. Love the bed. The bed. <laughs> screw screw Blackbeard algae. Uh, I'd rather have Blackbeard algae than this stuff at this point, honestly. Um, get some Florida flag fish for algae. They will eat hair algae and beard algae. Well, that's the thing though. This is Cladophora, which it's kind of like a hair algae, but I haven't found anything that eats it. Everywhere I read online, other than these guys possibly eating it, the Simensis uh, reticulatus or whatever the hell they're called, um, besides those, everything that I've read online says that there's nothing that eats it possibly a mono shrimps but i can't confirm that yet like i don't i think they are like i see them on places where it is but i don't know if they're actually eating it or if they're eating like the micro uh stuff off of it that's also another possibility so uh dion dropping the two dollar super chat thank you so much dion i really appreciate it i have like a blackbeard lg on the leaves of my creeping jenny but it's not Blackbeard, kind of looks more like black dust, yeah. It's acid, Jake, smoke it. Get flagfish. <laughs> Where can I get a CO2 system? Well, um, I ordered, let's see. I got my regulator from a guy locally. Uh, his name's Alan, he's on the, um, he's on Craigslist where he posts it and also on the Facebook groups. Uh, he builds these regulators, which is great. So you're gonna need a regulator you're also going to need a um, you're also going to need uh, a CO2 tank which is probably going to be one of the more expensive items that you're going to spend money on is getting an actual tank depends on the size of tank that you're looking for uh, typically for any uh, home aquarium that is only you know you only have the one aquarium I would suggest just getting a five gallon or five pound tank and that would probably last you a year unless your name is Nicole which apparently it doesn't last her a year it lasts her two months uh, so I don't know what the hell's going on with hers but now oh, I just broke the stem damn it but the one that I had lasted me uh, almost I, th I think over a year actually the one that I have when I was just running the one tank And this stuff is covered in this.
works the same as a day and night timer. Oh, okay. Just started following you today, or no, just f started following you, buddy. And so far, I love what you do, uh, bro. Thanks, Kenneth. I appreciate it. Thank you for following. Uh, when you getting more Java Moss? I need a lot. Uh, the final lot. <laughs> Um, and I, the thing is, is I don't order Java Moss because nobody grows it submerged from the nurseries. Uh, it's one of those, I have to let it grow in my tank and convert. So, and that just, I lose like 99% of what I order. So I just let it grow in my tank. I have a, I have a small, actually I have a, a ledge over here that has some on it, but it's not quite, uh, big enough for me to portion out just yet. Um, I could probably get maybe like one portion off of it, but that's... That would be pushing it. Unfortunately, moss is the most popular item on the website uh, from what I can see based on what people are searching for, but yet I don't have any in stock. <laughs> so, you know, I wish I had a steady supply of it. Maybe one day I'll find a supplier that actually grows it submerged uh, because I don't want to sell you guys a a plant uh, in my personal experience where I lost the majority of the plant like if there's a plant like a crypt that I know will bounce back that's a whole different story but the moss didn't do so well Uh, Kenneth says, what are your takes on Java Fern? I hate it, but my wife loves it. Having a hard time keeping it healthy, which is weird from what I hear. Um, so I've had Java Fern uh, completely healthy on me, and then all of a sudden it like nearly melts completely back. But then within a couple of weeks, there's all all bunch of new growth on it, and um, it looks healthy as as it can be. Um, so I don't know why Java Fern does that. It's It's odd, but... I've had it melt back on me a couple of times. I'm probably assuming that that's what's happening to you. If it's not, then you probably have an issue with it, and we should probably take a further look at it. You could send me some pictures, and I can help you uh, figure that out. I just really hope my plan of just removing whatever I can see keeps this stuff in check. Otherwise, I'm spending all this time doing it for nothing. <laughs> That'll really suck. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, Kenneth just shared the video on Facebook. Thank you, Kenneth. I appreciate it. And a fish guy also shared it. Or... Did Kenneth share it? said Kenneth. I don't know. You guys are sharing the video. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Audio isn't low. Um, sorry, I may just not be talking. Like, I'm feeling a little sick. Like my, my throat is a little messed up. I'm, I think I might be getting uh, some sort of uh, strep throat possibly. I, I usually get strep throat twice a year. It's weird. It's like clockwork as the seasons change. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. <clears throat> so I'm not talking um, as loud as I sh probably should. <laughs> so my apology um, if it's low there. But let's see. Um... What's up, all? What's up, Ale? What is a good ceramic diffuser or CO2 diffuser? Fluval is pretty good. Alan Lee, I don't think a beginner needs a industry-grade industrial-grade regulator. Um, 
Yes and no. Uh, CO2 is one of those things that you're going to, um, let's see. So CO2 is one of those systems that you're going to buy and you're probably going to buy it once and it's going to work for you, right? And I would think that if I was going to spend the money, see, Alan, I believe, like I got the tank and the regulator for 150 bucks from him. I, I think it was like 150 160 something like that. Great deal. Um, a regulator from Aquatech on Amazon is going to cost you 90 bucks. So let's just say his regulator is 125 bucks. You're going to spend an extra $35, but in my experience, his regulator was way better than uh, Aquatech's, at least for what I'm doing. Aquatech's did not really do what I needed it to. So um, and that's not to say it's a bad regulator, it just didn't, uh, didn't work for me. Damn, you guys are chatting up a whole storm on uh, on uh, YouTube here. Um, and Jake, you say it costs upwards of two hundred dollars. I think his actually start around like a hundred bucks for like a single stage, which is completely fine. Apparently, I need an industrial grade regulator because whatever I have, I broke it. <laughs> oh. Uh, should I start around one bubble per second? Yeah, pretty much, uh, depending on the tank size, if you have uh, anything above like a 20 gallon tank, I would say one bubble per second is probably fine. And uh, just work your way up slowly. Um, so what fish and shrimp did I get? Uh, so I was told actually, um, somebody on uh, Instagram said that the fish, I called them Black Emperor tetras and that that was incorrect i actually think that they were right because i looked it up and there was pictures of something that looks a little bit different than what i have um but regardless i wasn't i wasn't there to get the fish i just took them um at a courtesy for frank because he you know i don't want to one i didn't want to leave the fish in the tank without any plants or anything like that it was a bit of a bear tank and um, he needed to get rid of the tank. So I said, you know what, I'll just take them, throw them in here. They look cool. I like them. They're like schooling tightly. They're really nice looking. Um, so whatever they are, if they're black tetras or um, uh, black emperor tetras, it doesn't matter to me. It was just about giving them a, a decent home and not having, you know, even though I did lose three, but uh, I couldn't really do anything about that. That was That had to have been during transit. Um, those algae eaters look so cute. Yeah, they are. They're really cool. I like it. Have you tried turning your computer's phones off and on? Looks like zebra danios. No, <laughs> job for my tanks are dying. Probably too many other plants out competing it for nutrients. Most likely not. Um, job for just goes through that weird dying phase. My moss isn't growing very well at all. That could be low nitrates. Uh, I had to add some ferts to get mine growing, doing fine now. I understand they need more than the other plants. Uh, I had BBA growing literally out of, or off of my filter directly on the outputs. Yeah, I actually have BBA uh, directly growing out of some of my outputs too. Although the ones on here actually have disappeared because I removed them manually. Um, let's see. Justin, what is your favorite, favorite Jolly Rancher? Uh, I like the sour green apple ones. He must have just been getting rid of it. I see a lot of his regulators going for a lot more. Single stage aren't that great, harder to read. Yeah, well, that's why you get a bubble counter. Show us the fish in question we demand. Yeah, they're called black neon tetras, okay. Maybe I misread it, I don't know. I thought they were emperors. It doesn't matter. I like your beard and bun makes you look cool. Thank you, Ethan. Uh, NTA, do you have card cardinals? Um, let's see, what substrate do you use in all your tanks? So in one tank I have Eco Complete and the rest are Seachem Fluorite. Um, that's pretty much what I use. Uh, hey Kenneth, what does the Java Fern look like and what other plants do you have in the tank? So uh, Ryan wants to help you out there. Kenneth, you could also shoot me a picture and let me see what's going on with it. Maybe I can figure it out. 
Do you ship pending plant orders on Monday? Yeah, so anything that's pending will most likely go out on Monday unless we are, um, I mean, we do have a pretty decent amount of orders, but I think we can get to them all tomorrow. If for whatever reason we can't, um, I'll do, you know, say whatever 30 of them that are pending and then do the rest on Tuesday. So, but I do go in numerical order. So if you ordered uh, prior Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, it'll definitely go out Monday. Don't know what that stem is, but it has no leaves. So it's a mystery stem. Probably won't survive, but I'll plant it anyway. You said what it was, sort of bleeped. Um, Eco Complete and Seachem Fluorite that I use for my substrates. Do you have any experience with Floramax? No, my sister's fish jumped out of its uh, tank today. What should I do? And it died. Oh, that sucks. Well, put a lid on it if you have any other fish that jump. What size tank is it? This is a 40 gallon breeder that I'm playing in right now. Trying to just uh, clean up some algae, some bladder wart that's been the plague of my existence. This tank isn't that bad for the bladder wart, but the other tank over across the room that I have to go do next, that tank has so much bladder wart in it. And yet Jake is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Jake, this is supposed to be your job, all right? I think I delegated all, uh, all tank cleaning to you. Why am I doing it? Shit, I'm gonna just have to start saying I'm looking for a replacement for Jake. Anybody want to come clean some tanks? <laughs> Damn, I don't... This Glosso has this algae so embedded in the clump that's over here. Um, I'd hate to throw it out because it's like now just finally starting to convert from its submerged form, or from its immersed form to its submerged form. And I really want to get some glosso going for people because it's a great carpeting plant. Why is there a chunk of guppy grass there? I thought I put guppy grass somewhere else, so I did. So why are you over here? You don't belong here. You belong over here. Who's helping you pack orders tomorrow? Margaret is. Because Jake's going out with his daddy. I'll take Jake's job. I would, but I'm in Florida. I would if I lived closer. Depends. Will you pay extra for gas if I have to drive five hours to get there? <laughs> Nicole, I'll just have to uh, like rent you a hotel for you to stay at, and then you just come to back and forth to work over the weekend. He's, be he's complaining because I had a life this week. Jake, you're not allowed to have life. It's a hard life when you actually have to work on your own tanks. Do you got any shrimps in the tank? I am new to your channel. Yeah, so there are Amano shrimp and some cherry shrimp in here. And my Amano shrimp are bigger than these fish uh, swimming by here. The Amano shrimp are actually bigger. Or some of them. Uh, some of the ones I got yesterday are a lot smaller, but the ones that I got from my local fish store are literally like two inches big. They're huge. When when the new Amano shrimp that I got go up next to the Amano shrimp I've had, it's like dwarfed. They are they are so much smaller. Uh, 
And there is a, I actually have a blue cherry shrimp in here as well from uh, Frank. And then um, there's a little, there was a buried female too somewhere uh, when I got it from him. I just don't know where she is, so. There's more of this freaking algae. I hate this algae. You go to hell, algae, and you die. Sweet, I'm the tailor from Josh's Frogs that you helped a lot. Really appreciate your advice. That's why when I was ready with my lighting, I came back to you, buy from you. Oh yeah, Taylor, I actually saw your email. I just didn't get a chance to answer it. Uh, I've been super busy, as you could see, but um, I'll, de I'll definitely shoot you back an email. I, I, I briefly like skimmed it. I'll get back to you uh, probably by Monday, though. Um, if I had lived closer, I'd help you for free. Oh, Floyd, appreciate it. Uh, jeez, wow, you guys are talking up a storm over there. Okay. Um. <laughs> College Beta says, you aren't allowed to have a life and a job, Jake. Everybody knows that. Um, how many bubbles per second if you are running CO2 in a five-gallon tank? I would do, like, a bubble every three seconds, probably. Is that a bronze quarry swimming in the front? It's some sort of quarry, I don't know. This is him right here. He's cute, he like follows my finger. See, like, look, he comes back. He thinks I'm gonna feed him. This is actually my first ever quarry door, so he's kinda cute, I like him. I'm just like really watching the CO2 level. Uh, Frankie had these guys in a completely saturated CO2 tank. Like, like it looked like seltzer water, so I know that they can handle it. I just, I just always want to, you know, be careful, not stress out the fish and cause any harm. Um, let's see. So how is the abusive wife, Justin? <laughs> She's good. You can have a life and a job when you don't have a set schedule. Jake, I'm gonna make you work every day. How about that? You don't get a day off anymore. Even on days when I don't think I'll need you, I'll just, I'll tell you to come in anyway and I'll find something for you to do. If anything, I'll have you start washing my car and uh, cleaning the floor. Jake the nanny. <laughs> Can you do a video on how to plant a tank, Patricia asks. Uh, well, Patricia, this is kind of like um, a video on how to plant the tank. What are your questions? And this is much better than me just putting out a video because I can answer your direct questions. What do you want to know? It's really easy. You just kind of, um, you know, you want to get a decent light and then you want to just get proper plants that go along with your light. So. You know, if you have a 10 gallon tank and you have a regular kind of light that goes with it, you wanna get low light plants, you're gonna need some sort of substrate. It could be sand, it could be gravel, it could be eco-complete or seachem fluorite like I use. Um, if you use something like gravel or sand that doesn't have any sort of nutrient content that's not directly designed for planted tanks, you wanna add in something like root tabs, which is a, uh, is a good thing because uh, plants need nutrients at their roots. Um, and then pretty much you just kind of plant and you plant how you want. I mean, plenty of people out there will tell you, you know, you need to follow certain rules and all that, but when it, when it comes down to it, you can plant your tank however you want.
What kind of plants do you have in the back, those tall ones? So the green ones back there, uh, that's Pogostemon erectus. And then behind that is uh, water wisteria variegated. It's a white water wisteria. Uh, there's a regular water wisteria, which is quite common. Uh, the one that I have there is quite rare. Uh, well, not quite rare, but it's it's unique. You won't find it uh, every day. So I've uh, kind of been hoarding it to myself, and I literally grew it out from one stem, and now I have a bunch of it. So it's getting ready to get on the website here soon. And uh, I have a feeling it's going to probably go very quickly, because I've never seen it outside my local fish store, and they only had it once. So somebody either brought it in that's had it for a while, or he uh, he managed to get it in from his supplier. I don't quite know. But that's why I still go to my local fish store, one, because I like looking for rare plants that people trade in that uh, nurseries don't typically grow. Because there are so many plants that... <laughs> you've probably never heard of that are on like I guess what you could call it like kinda like the black market of uh, planted aquariums oh Jesus I just thought of something Jake text me black market so I remember what I just thought of cuz I'm gonna have to write it down in my phone t-shirt idea t-shirt idea and possibly another idea Thanks, Jake. I appreciate you. Even when you're not working, you're still working. Did you do the thank you cards, though? That's one thing that I definitely need you to do. There's so much algae in this tank. What is this? There's like this... It's not coming from there. There's like this weird smell. I don't know what it is. never had a quarry before now schedules are my life weekend prevail prevails revoked or privileges revoked you can make Jake trim your toenails too I could right it's been two months since we had a normal video I'm sorry neon <laughs> you know what it is I'm looking I'm looking to still get a video editor I haven't decided I had a couple people hit me up about it uh, my whole thing is I don't have time to edit them and so now I've just kind of moved to this live only in quotation marks uh, channel idea and that's just basically like instead of me sitting there recording stuff and then sitting on the footage like I have the footage when we demoed uh, the walls here I have footage from when we set up uh, the, the tank upstairs that still hasn't even been edited that you know nobody's really seen other than uh, you know the live stream that I streamed while we were demoing the walls for a little bit um you know there's all this unused footage yet footage uh, of you know that's not used and um it's just easier i can live stream right when i have footage of me doing it so at a later point i could go back through and do a commentary over it and i also get to interact with you guys and it kind of works because it boosts the channel um, in a sense because now there's a bunch of activity on it so it's a it's kind of like a win-win-win um, because this is honestly like the videos that I would be making anyway you would see a time-lapse right now of me doing this well granted the time-lapse might be more interesting than sitting here for the next four hours watching me do it um, and you know watching a four-minute time-lapse might be more fun but that's essentially what it would be. <laughs> I do eventually want to do more tutorial videos, but that's kind of what I'm devoting Wednesday to now, you know, doing the plant profiles on, on the live stream because it just makes sense. It eliminates me having to edit. And that's, it's a time saver. Because if I'm going to spend the time to do it anyway, 
and talk about it. The only difference is a edited project. I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. I think I think this live thing that I have going on is a working strategy right now. So not terribly concerned about it. But with that said, if I find somebody that I think is a qualified editor that I can trust to do things the proper way, then you'll have videos. But I'd still probably live stream a bunch of stuff still because uh, I like live streaming now. There's so many small filaments that I can't get. I just hope that the the fishies take care of them. And more of this bacopa. Let's see. You guys are talking about a bunch trying to catch up to you. Um, I'm an independent contractor. We have a verbal agreement on as needed basis. Sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Dick, Jake. So as he needs something you do, like if he needs a booger picked, oh my God, you guys are really talking about this? We can't really see those plants. They're whitewashed. Which plants? The Pogo Steaman erectus or what I'm 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 working on. You got Rotala Hara, yeah. Or Hara. That's all this all this orange right here and green. Well, orange and yellow. That's all Rotala Hara. Hara or whatever the hell it's called, I've been told. It's like a orangey pink color. Although I think I have the same exact stuff in the other tank, but now I have like a hundred stems of it. So, and it's growing quite quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna take the top layer off, right? Probably trim it down about halfway down the tank. Let it regrow, nice new growth in the tank. And I'll probably just sell all this off as a lot and say, listen, I got like 40 stems or something like that if anybody wants and sell it off as a package. Um, let's see. This is the black market of aquarium plants. May I have some Ludwigia SP cocaine? <laughs> no, honey, honey actually, believe it or not, so we took her to the vet. I actually didn't even tell people what happened. So I took her to the vet right when she uh jake knows because i came home and there was a bunch of diarrhea all over the place um took her to the vet they said it's oh what the hell was the name some infection in the in like the last few inches of her colon uh that was causing her to have that bloody stool it's not something that starts with a c i can't remember the name of it Anyway, so she prescribed me some antibiotics, and about two days after starting the antibiotics, Honey has not had an accident in the house, inside her crate, or anything like that, which I'm really surprised, because before she was peeing in her cage, and now like I'm like kind of thinking about it, I'm like, maybe she had like a UTI, because the antibiotics would have taken care of that, and maybe that's why like she wouldn't go to the bathroom when I took her out. Uh, pretty much she's gone to the bathroom every single time I've taken her out now. I mean, there's small occasions where she hasn't, like to this afternoon I took her, but then again I also took her out late, so she probably didn't have to go. Um, and also, I don't think she drank that much water because her water bowl was full, so um, I'm very happy, you know, she's she's not going to the bathroom down here, she hasn't had any accidents even while just chilling there. Uh, yesterday she was in her cake was it yesterday yeah Friday she was in her uh, crate for I think 10 hours without an accident because I had to go to the Brooklyn I wasn't able to get home and Margaret wasn't home so um, 
you know, she was able to go a long time without anything, so it's awesome. Jesus, you guys are talking a bunch over here. Does Nate only work on videos when school is going on? Well, uh, pretty much Nate told me that his schedule is not, uh, not, he's not able to edit right now. Have you ever done a dirty tank and do you think I will be able to grow plants in a medium gravel capped dirt tank with highlight and CO2? Hell yeah, Michael. Dirt, dirt tanks rock. I personally haven't done it. But, um, yeah. Jake had to clean up the dog diary. <laughs> nah, he didn't. I, I cleaned that up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anybody to clean up after my animal unless, like, you know, they're at, like, a babysitter's or something like that. That's a whole different story. But like if it's at my house, it's my my duty, literally. Almost done with this bucket, a little bit more left. I don't know what I should do with this glosso though. I feel like it may not be worth trying to save, but it is almost fully converted, which would suck to toss. I have no idea what plant this is. I'm just gonna pull off this healthy bit right here though. All the rest of that's garbage. like some sort of I don't know, some sort of Lerugia maybe I don't even know what that is these because that's a whole different species right there so let me get these what did these get You know how to properly place root tabs in an aquarium? Place it in a grid pattern f about five inches apart from one another. It's typically a good rule of thumb. You can do closer if it's more heavily planted, like if your tank is really densely planted, then you could get away with it, but um, typically that's a good, five inches is a good starting point.
pretty sure this is another one of these. And Jake, I hope you're taking notes because this is how you're going to need to clean these tanks going forward. You're going to have to spend three days on one tank. No. <laughs> but no, seriously, you got to... What I'm doing here, ripping all these little strands of algae off, if this stuff still continues to come back, this is what we're going to have to do until it's all gone. And by that's what we'll have to do. I mean, that's what you'll have to do. But I, I honestly think this cleaning, what I'm doing now, is going to get rid of it. I'm like 90% I'm like sure. Because there's just going to be, I'm going to just heavily plant this. There's going to be so many stems in here that uh, the algae will be outcompeted. Like, I'm like 90% sure on that. Algae stuck to my fingers. Those might be a little too close to each other. Oh, well, there's still more of those? How did I miss that? Because this freaking thing got in the way. plant are you? I don't know what plant you are. I'm just going to leave you floating. Okay. Alright, what else we got in here? We got a little guppy, more guppy grass. Grass, what is this? Oh, it looks like baby tears or something. Okay. I plant the guppy grass. Where did I plant it before? Is that it? That's it right there. Goes right in there.
Here's my drink. Give me one sec. of this flame moss here. big clump it's a whole mess of flame moss but it's got like a ton of algae and rickia and bladder wart all stuck in there so I'm trying to clean out everything that I see here when I get anything that's visual visibly and easily removed I want it out I'm just, you know, going through, gent gently tugging on whatever it is, just thinning it out. I don't know if I should just rip all this infected bits off. Yeah, I think that's what I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna take because flame moss grows pretty quickly. I'm not worried about losing some of this. I think it makes sense to remove whatever. Whatever is really contaminated, like, instead of just trying to remove it by hand, but it ain't gonna come easily, just get rid of it. Yeah, now that looks pretty good. There is some round spots underneath there, but overall, I think it'll be alright here. I'm just gonna put this over here. Right on top.
Yeah, what was your question? Sorry. Oh, Justin, can Amazon Swords flower? I think mine is about to... It has orange stem shooting out the center, and it has a bud on it. That means that it's going to produce baby plants for you, not flower, most likely. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to go through the chat, but I also really need to get this done, so... And you guys are having a conversation amongst yourselves, so I really, you know, scrolling through a bunch of, a bunch of you guys talking back and forth is tough for me to see uh, what exactly you guys are asking. So if you have a question, let's implement the, uh, the question rule where you put question in big cap letters followed by your question, and I'll know that that's something that you want me to answer. So this is more of a boost for the people that wanted my mess here. That's blank. This is a thing of Java moss right here. Let's see what's in this. Oh, there's another kind of moss too here. That's a flame moss. Garbage. All in all, looks pretty good. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of crap on here. So this is just going. I'm just gonna stick those way down in the corner back here. I literally just put that Java moss in a spot where it's gonna get like zero light, and it'll still probably grow. So now this is a type of moss. I'm not sure what this is. A piece of bladder wart. Hey, H2O plants, any advice on diatom bloom and how to manage it? Uh, diatoms will pretty much go away on their own unless you have uh, too much light. You could get autosynchronous catfish. Also, I was thinking about that, and he just said to all caps a question. Yeah, you just you just have to put question in all caps, and then you can type out your question regularly. Or you could do it in all caps, whatever. Sorry, I, I try and be a, as, as interactive as I can during the live streams, but uh, this is like work time. And like I said before, it's like, yeah, it is what it is. stomping her feet. Hi. Why the fuck you're ignoring my questions? What questions? Did you type stuff? I don't see your questions. What are you typing? Oh, should you block me now that you don't see my questions? Is what, that what you do? Where are you on Facebook? Oh, I, oh my god, Facebook was gone and I didn't even see the chat going. Holy crap. I'm sorry, I, I, it, it was literally uh, stuck. Uh, uh, it was stuck. Uh, 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 it was stuck. Uh, uh, what did you say? Let's see, let's see what, what Margaret said. You're completely fucking ignoring me. <laughs> when are you going to spend time with me? <laughs> Not funny. All right, wrap this up, come on. Oh. I, too, I am fish in your fucking tank that needs to be fucking cared for and plants trimmed and looked after and licked and everything. <laughs> You do realize I, I have, like, all that other stuff to do. You do realize that the other hand should be inside my tank. <laughs> you do know that, right? Do you want me to leave you for somebody else? Because I could. I could hire a part-time Justin. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is his name Ron? Yeah, his name is Ron. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go hit up Ron right now. How about that? Don't get messed up, Margaret. You've been down here all day. Let's go. I, I have not been down here all day. Where I've were been we all day? Enough. Where were we all day? That was with the kids. That was time with the kids. Now it's time with me. And when would you like me to get this done? I don't care. No one fucking signed you up for this so shit. So then you're gonna come down and clean the rest of the what fish did, room for me? What did you say? What did you say to me, baby? This this thing right here is never gonna get it between <laughs> us, baby. You come first, baby. <laughs> You, you do come first. come first, and, baby. And that was us you spending. Would never come that that us. was us spending time together today. No, that was with the kids. Okay, I tell you what, I'll come spend time with you, but then I'm gonna come back down here afterwards. It's not that put me to bed and come back downstairs. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my God, I'm joking. Can you not tell that I'm joking? No, because you're fucking serious. I'm not serious. Even in your dreams, you're fucking thinking of putting your hand in the tank. Because <laughs> it's never my tank. Watch, and you're going to find someone else's hand in my tank. Don't say shit to me. Oh, baby. No, don't fucking No, no, come here. Don't fucking baby me. Come here. You want to come baby me? Come baby me upstairs. Come here. No, I'm all alone in my fucking room. Come here. This should be my room because you're never in it. Come here. No. Come here. No. Come here. Baby. Baby. Baby, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> all right, so... I'm very limited on time. I'm just going to try and get through this last little bit here. As you guys can tell, my presence is requested elsewhere. Screaming with laughter, she floored me and my son is laughing. <laughs> Drop the moss and pick up the wife. Come on. The live stream just got real lit. <laughs> it did. It did. I'll go up there in a minute. I just got to get the rest of this in there. I still have that other stuff. Baby! Can you come help me plant stuff? How about that? No? Or are you going to come spend time with me down here? This is not spending time. I don't want to be in a musty basement. Art, excuse me. My basement is this musty? This is what we do every fucking weekend. Fucking pack orders. Do this, do that. And it's never just you and me. And then when laying in bed, it's, baby, look at this idea I have. Baby, look at this plant. <laughs> baby, look at this fish. What do you think of this? I support you and all, but I'm also not your supporter. <laughs> I'm ready to bleach your whole shit out. Don't do that. Oh, the tank is not nice. What, the goldfish one? Ah, oh, that's pretty. Where the fuck is the goldfish? I gotta bring him down here. I didn't get a chance to do that yet. They do, right? The kid's asleep already? Um, yeah, I won't sleep. Uh, Where are you? Working. No, you're playing. Anytime you do this, it's playing. This ain't playing. You think I want to do this? I want Jake here doing this. <laughs> Bullshit. You enjoy this shit. No. I have so many other things that I need to do. Like, I need to go spend time with my wife. I don't know, the one you're about to lose? <laughs> Girl, you're about to get served with divorce papers. Like, real quick. Like, super quick. Everybody's cracking up. Come here. Nah. I like your hair. It looks pretty. Oh, yeah? You like it? I like you it. You should be upstairs messing it up. <laughs> That's what you should be doing. Wait, don't you yell at me when I mess up your hair? You say, I just did my hair. Don't mess it up. I love you. 
in this washer and dryer that we bought a month ago. I love how it's just sitting there. Y yet again. How about we just return it and keep just sending the laundry out like we do? No, how about I will get to it when I have a minute. I have a laundry list of things to do, literally. You know, you should have done this shit when you were single, had no friends, had no kids, had no nothing, and you were pathetic playing video games all day. The truth, the truth comes out. And yet you don't want me to watch Netflix. I'll have to wait a year and a half to I watch just don't want, show with you. I just don't want you to watch Orange is the New Black, but you already started watching it. I watched every single thing out there because you never have time to watch Netflix. And when you do, it's you lay on the bed and you're <sighs> out. That's because I'm tired. Did you finish Orange is the New Black? I'm almost done. Of course you are. Faster. Come on, let's go. Why don't you talk to the stream? Hmm? Why don't you talk to the stream? I want to talk to you. Okay, so talk to me. No, not in front of a whole bunch of audience. Is it because I'm streaming if I take down I, the stream? I sign up for fucking real life but you, fucking but, TV drama but, bullshit. But you like those reality shows. I like to watch it, not be in it. It's different. I like other people's drama. I don't like my own drama. I'm drama free, bitch. I'm drama free. Hurry the fuck up. Come on, you got 10 minutes. Look at me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not gonna look. It's like looking into Medusa. You can't look at her. Look at me. Look no, you can't just, look at her. You can't look at her in the eyes. Just, just, just turn around, baby. No, look at me. No, no. Look at me. Look no, at me. I'm talking I'm good. To you really nicely. Okay, I can hear you. I don't need to look at you. Just look at me. Look at me. And now I, you know look what? Me, I can see you in the reflection of the tank. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. But, but I'm, lo I'm, I'm looking. I can come hear me. you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I want to tell you something. Come here. I want to tell you something. Come here. No, come here. Walter, back away. We don't trust her. Come here, come here. Come here, I want to smell you. No, I stink right now. I know, I want to I smell my stench. Come here. No, no, you don't. Lies. Come here. It's lies. Come here. Lies on lies on lies. Come here. Go. <laughs> Guys, if I get murdered. <laughs> come, 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 come. Just, 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 just. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Fucking ten minutes to get upstairs to you. Maybe ten fucking minutes, baby. Ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes, okay? Ten minutes. That's all you have. What time is it now? It starts now. But I still have to take the doggies out. Then you better include that in your ten minutes. <laughs> but that takes ten minutes. Even if I go up there now, they they still be freaking walking outside. I'll be nice to you. You got 13 minutes. 13, 13 minutes? An extra three minutes? 13. Well, what did I do to deserve okay. you? What did I do to deserve you? Make sure all the doors are locked and all the lights are off. Alrighty then. <laughs> Looks like that will conclude today's broadcast. Tune in tomorrow for our regularly scheduled programming. I enjoyed the re this reality stream to be on a, uh, to be continued. I will get you some views.
my phone just died, really? Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. Sinogly Spleem. Damn it, there is way too much of this stuff for me to do this. It's starting to brown. I need to get that bit here. Pogo Steam and Hellberg or something like that. Yeah, this needs to get in the tanks. I can't leave this out. It's turning to mush already. It's lost all of its leaves. Hopefully it bounces back. Damn. Mayaka Flutanus. 12 minutes, it's the final countdown. Dun, dun.
pretty sure this is the same type of bacopa, but I'll plant it in a separate place. Actually, no, that is a different Bacopa. That's not the same stuff. this plant won't turn the move. Except it doesn't want to stay put. stuff is beautifully red though. I'm just gonna place it over here. Okay. Got like two or three more bags real quick. I just need to get these in a tank because they're starting to melt, so I'm just rushing to get them in there so I can save whatever I can out of them. going in the pool.
Yeah, I use the Sun Sun filter. I see somebody asked that. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this done because Margaret's going to be mad at me. So I need to get these in here. Last bag. I have to save these baggies so I can go back through and write down what it, everything is. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow during tomorrow's live stream. Later.